In this video, I'll show you the fastest way to get perfect audio levels in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the web guru and I do tutorials on video, audio, and photography. So be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. So here in Premiere, I've already put together a simple video and I have organized the timeline so that all of my interview clips are on audio track two. And I am going to increase the track height. My favorite way is simply to double click this empty space here. And now the track is higher. Um, you can also take that little line at the bottom of the track. Um, make sure you do it over here in the track header and then drag down. And now I can clearly see my audio clips and I've also renamed it to interview. Now, if you want to learn about some basic uh, audio editing techniques, I have done another video on that. Now I can already see just by looking that this clip here is very loud. I can see it peak right here. Um, and this clip over here is much quieter. And I'm going to listen to this first clip. Well, okay. And when I look over here in the audio meter, I can see that these red lights turned on and this is not good. This means that the audio went above zero and this is called clipping. So you always have to avoid this. And if you need to make your audio meters visible, go up to the window menu and simply choose audio meters and then they'll show up on your screen somewhere. Now this clip over here is a little bit on the quiet side. Are pretty amazing. You can see that it's peaking uh, over here in the minus 18 range. Now here's an optional thing that you can do on the audio meters if you right click and then choose static peaks. What that will do is when you listen to a clip, this yellow line will stay inside of the audio meter and it'll show you exactly where that clip is peaking. So this can be pretty useful. Now the goal for this mix is to bring our audio clips to around minus three. I want them to peak at minus three. Now if you wanted to push the level, you could go up to minus two or minus one, but just be careful as you get closer to zero. Now it is possible to drag this white line up and down to do this, um, but that can be very time consuming and takes a lot of trial and error. So let me show you my favorite way of doing it. So I'm gonna start with this clip. Then I'm going to right click and then go to audio gain and then choose normalize max peak. Now what this means, the max peak is basically the loudest or highest peak in the audio clip. And I'm going to set the max peak to minus three, then I'll click on OK. Now that has adjusted the entire audio waveform. So it's basically adjusted the gain of the clip so that the max peak is at minus three. Now, if I listen to this, well, okay. you can see right here, it peaks at exactly minus three. So I really like that. Now I'm gonna go to this next clip and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to audio gain. Then I'm going to normalize the max peak to minus three. When I click OK, it is done instantly. So if I were to listen, the tigers are pretty. it also peaks at exactly minus three. So that's great. Now both of the clips are peaking at minus three. And so this has already saved me some time, but normalize is really, really useful when you have a lot of clips in the timeline. So for example, I have all of these interview clips and some of them are a little bit too loud and some of them are too quiet. And I can normalize all of them at the same time. So I'm going to first of all select the clips. Now one way to do it is to click on a clip and then hold down the shift key and then click on multiple clips to select them. You can also click away from the clips and then drag with your mouse through all of the clips to select them. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to audio gain. Now when you have a single clip selected, you can choose normalize max peak. When you have multiple clips selected, then you will want to choose normalize all peaks 
2 minus 3. When I click on OK, you can see how it actually has normalized every single one of these peaks, or it has normalized every one of these clips to exactly minus 3 instantly. So this is a fantastic time saver. Now if I listen to the clips, Open. you can see that they are peaking it. I'm not going to listen to every single one of them because you get the idea, but you can see that they have instantly been normalized to minus three. So that is one of my favorite techniques to get perfect audio levels inside of Premiere Pro. I hope it saves you a lot of time. Uh, feel free to watch the other videos. I've produced several videos now on audio editing inside of Premiere. Uh, leave a comment and subscribe and keep learning and growing and I'll see you in the next video.